This is like a safari train ride. It's incredible. Good morning from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm Raya. And I'm Louie. And we spent the first three years of our relationship traveling the world full time. And now we have embarked on our greatest adventure yet. We moved into a converted school bus and are planning to do one last epic tour of the US before we drive all the way down to our land in an eco community in Costa Rica. Subscribe to follow our adventure. Before we continue our road trip through the US, we were invited on a very last minute trip to Kenya. We are up very bright and early this morning to take a train. We are heading to a part of Kenya we've never been to before, even though it's my third time here and it's your fifth? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. We've been here a lot, but we've never been to the coast. So we're taking a train now to get there. We're heading to Mombasa. There's a few different ways to get to Mombasa from Nairobi. You could fly, but it's pretty expensive. You could drive, but it takes eight hours and we don't have a car, so we'd have to rent one, which I'm sure would also be expensive. Hello, madam. Okay, let's try this again. We've been told off for filming about three times now. But anyway, we are about to take a train because I told you the other two ways are very long and very expensive. And we've got first class tickets and we'll tell you how much they cost in a minute, but I'm excited to check it out. The security here has been insane. I'm pretty sure there was three levels of security that we had to go through, like scanning our bags once, getting them checked by dogs then scanning our bags again, and then a third time maybe? Mm -hmm. Anyway, it, it, it's very thorough, which I'm glad. Obviously there's... Um, it makes there's, you feel safe. Yeah, it makes you feel safe. Um, but we're now through, we've got tickets, we're waiting to get on the train. I'm super hyped because I've never been on the train in Kenya, never been to the coast, and apparently this is a beautiful train ride. <sighs> got my second coffee of the morning. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thankfully, we've arrived with lots of time to spare, haven't we? Yeah, you have to come at least an hour before to get your tickets. We got a chibaki. <laughs> so we have seat numbers. Yeah. Are you? Oh, I don't have the window seat. What the heck? Okay, we're in first class. It's actually pretty nice in here, mm -hmm. but when the tickets were booked, we didn't specify that we wanted a window seat. I assumed all the seats were window seats, but we happen to have no window. We've got a little bit of a window here, but we're gonna see if it's not sold out, whether we can just sneak into some other seats, even though we've got assigned seats, but it's a bit of a bummer because it's a long drive and there's gonna be some it's gonna be some good views. And the reason we booked this is to like look at the views. But yeah. Anyway, we'll see. <laughs> this is the reality of uh, travel sometimes. Oh. Okay, we've nabbed some other seats. We're probably gonna get kicked out because there's more people boarding, but we're just gonna chill here for a second. Thought we'd we'll give you a little tour before it gets too loud. Um, right, what have we got? Have good leg room. Yeah, really good leg room. These seats are super comfortable. I think they go back. Oh yeah, they go back. Ooh. Pulls out too. That's really nice. nice. Okay. We have these tables. Mm -hmm. like nice. That. Lots of space. Ready for laptop club. Definitely. Or, or watching TV shows. <laughs> and I was really hoping we'd have this. We have a plug so we can get work done. There we go. And for people that don't know, in Kenya, they have the UK plug, which is convenient. Um, for we, you. For me. <laughs> Although actually all of my stuff now has got US plugs. Anyway, we bought an adapter and a power strip so we can power everything with our US plugs mm -hmm. off the one UK plug, which is handy. Mm -hmm. That's a good travel tip. Always bring a power strip with you. And guess how much these first class seats were? I honestly couldn't believe it when I saw it. It's only thirty dollars each for a six-hour train ride, first class. Halfway across the country. Halfway across the country. Yeah, it's amazing. So and, good. I mean, I just cannot wait to show you guys. It's gonna come out of this window. This is the bathroom situation. The sinks are out. I don't know how bad that is, but these you can just come wash your hands anytime. And then here is the bathroom. And there's another sink in here. Yeah, it's a train bathroom, it's clean. Don't know what else you need, really. <laughs> All right. This is really nice, though, that you don't have to wait to go to the bathroom to be able to come wash your hands. It's very handy.
It's a food cart. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, thank oh. you. Can I get japati and bean stew? Okay. Do you want one? There's that. <laughs> I did go a little bit overboard on the groceries. A little bit is a huge understatement. He went to the grocery store hungry, okay? Alone, too, without me. He able to spell it out. We don't need this. Luxury. I spent like $60. <laughs> Just some snacks into them. They're like backup food. Um, to be fair, we didn't know what the situation was going to be like food wise on the train. So I got, got enough snacks and food for us to have kind of lunch. But it's only 8.30 so it's a little too early for these. Too. Yeah, I forgot how early it was. <laughs> We've uh, swapped sides of the train because the sun was beating in and I think the views are nice on this side. Um, I'm sure we're not supposed to be just like flip-flopping, swapping seats. But we, we're going to do it until we get to other. The windows are really dusty so I'm just going to wipe this one in case I want to get a clear shot. Okay, food has arrived. I guess this is like brunch. Well, it's 11.15, so this is kind of brunch. We have beans and spinach, I guess. Check this out. Beans, spinach, and then some japati. Unfortunately, quite a lot of plastic wrapping. And then I've got a little coffee, instant coffee. So I've basically just got a cup of hot water. We do have a lot of snacks as well. And I'm also thinking, before we arrive, we want to go and check out the actual dining car. See if there's any other things, or desserts, or fruit, or anything like that. But this is a pretty good meal. just entered one of the national parks Raya saw like a sign and then immediately we saw some elephants and then some zebras and Raya's got a better spot she's keeping a lookout to see if we can uh, snipe any shots of some other animals but it's quite fast we're traveling fast in this train so it's hard to um, get the clips and the photos not as uh, slow as uh, an actual game drive when you're on safari. in Mombasa. Before we do, I'm just gonna take a little stroll into second class just to compare the seating in there. And from what I see, it looks pretty nice. So 
um, yeah, let's just let's just walk down and have a little look. And from what I can see is a lot of the second class seats actually have a table in between with the seats facing each other, which I think is more social. And if you were travelling as a group, it might be better because then you could sit and chat together and eat and play cards and stuff like that. So yeah, second class is also pretty nice on this train. We have arrived in Mombasa. We've arrived. Thank you. That was a pretty pleasant train ride. It was really beautiful view, especially when we were going through the national park. We ate well, it was clean, it was nice. Um, yeah, I, I think that was probably the nicest way we could have travelled to Mombasa. And now I'm excited to explore. We met up with our friends Shami and Kush from Travel for Purpose, who wanted to show us around Mombasa and the Kenyan coast. We just got to lunch. This vegan restaurant right next to the road. It's so cute, it's tiny. <laughs> I can't believe we found a vegan restaurant here. I'm sure the food's gonna be so good. So this place is a local restaurant with local prices, not tourist prices. So the food is so cheap that we basically wanna order like one of everything on the whole menu and have a big like shared platter. That's the plan. Yeah, so some of the prices, like a burrito is $2, curry $1. And what is like onion bhaji, 10 cents. Okay. So, Same. we just want a, a selection of everything. Yeah, it's gonna be so good. Wow. This, this is a hefty burrito. <laughs> Two dollars. Like there it is, you can get shot. <laughs> Wah, nice. Wah. <laughs> yes, thank you, right? Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. 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 I need to do a cheers. <laughs> we just finished lunch. It was incredible. So good, and the, the full bill. Yeah, four of us ate until we were stuffed full with delicious, incredible food. Yeah. $23. <laughs> and there was a bunch left that we were like, please, if you guys will eat it back in the kitchen, take this with you. And I had two mango passion juices. Yeah, and we just took, we have a huge burrito to take it home and eat later. Yeah, wild. <laughs> we'll leave a link down below to this place. Can you find this on Google Maps? Probably yeah. not. Yeah. Oh, we can do, we can yeah, just drop no, it. Yeah, Shami said you can. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll leave it for you. If you come, trust me, you have to come eat here. So good. This is the fattest wow. valve I've wow. never seen anything like that. That's insane. I kind of want a photo by that one because yeah, that's just. Show that, like, that. Guys, check out how fat this You can't really tell how fat yeah, this tree you is. Need to, you need to jump out and show. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. So, each one of these lines in the tree represents one year and then obviously the further you go up you see all these lines here and then on these branches <laughs> that's insane wow it's unbelievable also louis six foot five so remember oh, that <laughs> so yeah wow this is an old tree wow That doesn't seem real to me. I think that is maybe one of the coolest trees I've ever seen in my life. So cool. Good morning, we've just got to Guni Sanctuary and this place is incredible. Basically, this used to be a quarry and like all the nutrients were sucked out of the soil and someone, I think an Italian guy, I don't know if he bought it, but anyway, he like really brought it back to life. He brought in a bunch of bugs that helped like put nutrients back into the soil. And since it has turned into a sanctuary, so they have brought in a few different animals. There's giraffes, there's gazelles, and 
few different things. I think they might be bringing in zebras soon. And a huge focus here is to help bring the locals in to experience the animals because a lot of locals in Kenya, and especially kids, don't actually get to see the animals because going on safari can be really expensive or maybe they don't have access to a car or something. So um, yeah, there's just, there's a lot of education here. A lot of like school groups come and there's a library and an amphitheater and um, yeah, it's just a really, really cool vibe. And then when people like us, when tourists come and pay tickets to come and like see the giraffes, um, we're kind of helping pay because obviously the school groups will pay like a much, much smaller fee. So yeah, it's kind of like the tourism helps run the place. And I just, I love it. And I haven't really seen anything like this, like specifically helping um, locals have incredible experiences with the beautiful animals here. So I'm excited to look around. Can you see the giraffes? It's hidden. It's camouflage. It's really close to us. Wow! <laughs> there it is. There's nothing comparable to coming to Africa and like going on safari or being with animals, with African animals. It's just, it just doesn't feel real. It feels like you're like in a movie or yeah. something. Yeah, they're just magical creatures. Oh, yeah. Right, it's just getting some photos and a film camera. for some brunch, we just got some fruit and fruit juice. Wow. I want to meet the ostriches next. Oh, he's itching himself on the, on the roof. He <laughs> should look at the table. Enjoy guys, cheers. <laughs> this giraffe is very curious to what's in our cooler. It's like a dinosaur. Yeah. I just can't, I just can't get over it. What are you doing, bro? Hello. Hey. <laughs> These are full on dinosaurs. Ow. Okay, Ow. I don't want to Ow. These actually look like dinosaurs. Look at their feet. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we did. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> this guy is not leaving me alone. Look, he's doing this like weird mating dance. I don't think he's trying to mate with you, I think he's trying to fight you. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's a bit of a drought happening in the Mombasa area right now. So they've brought in some fresh leaves for the animals to eat because a lot of the trees are kind of dried up and there's not as many leaves as usual. But this is their, this is their fresh greens for the day. So a lot of you have probably seen Giraffe Manor before. It's probably one of the most famous like giraffe experiences, especially in Kenya. And that is very expensive, especially now the only way you can interact with the giraffes is if you stay overnight and that's like, I think at least a thousand dollars a night and it's like always booked out. But this experience is $30, so we're definitely gonna link it down below. If you're coming to Mombasa area, you have to do this. So we have spent a few days in Mombasa and Kalifi and we are now getting the train back to Nairobi. So we're going again in first class. This journey we're gonna go and eat at the food cart. Hopefully. And we're gonna get the sunset, and hopefully we were thinking um, more animals will be out for us to see because it won't be like the heat of the day. Yeah, so in national parks, it's like the sunrises and sunsets where you see most of the, the wildlife, so that's the hope. But I'm excited to go back. We are going to find the food car. So it looks like there's two carriages of first class. This is the other carriage. Oh, 
The food has arrived. What have we got? We wanted to try something different from last time, but this was the only thing they had on the menu that was vegetarian and vegan friendly. And honestly, it was so good last time, but we were happy to get it again. So it's bean stew with spinach and chibaki. And everything is like fresh. Oh, so honestly, I was amazed at how delicious this was last time. Yeah. So. And this time, it's really nice to actually sit in the food cart and enjoy the view. And actually, like five minutes after we got here, it filled up. So I think maybe try to come like as quickly as possible <laughs> once the train sets off. It seems to work. Another travel tip, something that we never travel without, are reusable cutlery. And yeah, this obviously helps save on plastic, but sometimes you don't even get a cutlery option, so it's definitely comes in handy. It's so good. It's so much after two long train journeys over the last five days and an amazing time in Mombasa. Like we said, the next video is gonna be all of our adventures in Mombasa. We stayed the night overnight in this incredible ship off the coast. So, yeah, and we visited the most beautiful beach I've ever been to in my life. You will not believe it's Kenya, I'm telling you. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that. And just lastly, what are, like, what are your thoughts about the train ride? Honestly, it was really nice. I think this is a very modern train. So it's a very recent project that was built um, connecting Nairobi to Mombasa, which is the coastal town. Uh, the friends that we had in Mombasa said it's amazing. A lot of people commute back and forth. Obviously, it speeds up the journey time amazingly. Yeah, they said it's like changed the game for so many people and businesses and just Kenya in general. And I would say the fact that you can go on a beautiful train ride and basically be on safari, like we must have seen 20, 30 elephants mm. today? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say it's quite the same as a game drive, but the fact that you don't have to go to a park and spend a few days kind of driving around, if you've got limited time, um, it's still really cool to see animals from the train, yeah, and I was not expecting that. I think it's gotta be one of the coolest train rides oh, yeah. in the world. It's 100% the best train ride I've done. <laughs> so yeah, if you come to Kenya and you're gonna visit the coast, highly recommend it. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video, and also, we're doing one other video after that, which is gonna be this amazing project that we're out here for. Do you wanna say a bit about that? Um, just get ready to see lots of really cute baby elephants that are being released back into the wild. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, so two more videos coming from Kenya, and yeah. then we're going back to the US, and we're finally gonna start getting the school bus ready for our trip down to Costa Rica over the next probably five four months, months, four months, five months, who knows, who yeah, knows? We'll see. But yeah, make sure to subscribe from that, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.